Greetings, brothers and sisters. Um, I just want to thank God for my husband. We're here with our daughter, and it's just a blessing to be amongst the people of God. Um, I'm just so grateful. We're just so, we're not worthy. And I'm just so thankful again to be here to serve the great God that he is. Um, I want to thank God for the apostles um, and of old and our current day leader, teacher, and God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Um, I just want to thank God for all of the ministers that are you know ministering along with him as well and just for everyone that's here today um i just want to thank god because two months um previous from now i made two years of being in holiness um <laughs> and so we're still new and we're learning um a lot but i'm just so grateful and i'm just so amazed that just god how he is he's filled me with his holy spirit and I will say it was a struggle at first. Um, I wore pants and just the first time we heard the message, we stopped going to our falsehood church and we came and I was like, I have to be baptized. And I got rid of all of my pants and I've been wearing dresses ever since. So just even if you're younger, just be encouraged that it's never too late um, and you're never too young, so amen. Next we have on the program, um, Sister Priscilla Calborn. She actually could not make it, so if everyone could just keep her in prayer. So we'll just move along with the choral selection from the Baltimore, Maryland, and Delmore, Delaware combined youth. to do I said I don't know what you come to do Yeah, I don't know what you come to do I said I don't know what you come to do But I came to clap my hands I came to clap my hands I came to clap my Yeah, I don't know what you come to do But I came to show with joy 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 Praise the Lord. I came to praise the Lord. I came to praise the Lord. 
come to do Yeah, I don't know what you come to do I said I don't know what you come to do But I can't look like my
God. Thank God for our youth. Let's give them another hand clap. Now let's prepare ourselves for the offering. The brothers that are designated to do that may do so at this time. And I'm going to turn it over into the hands of Minister Kemp. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings. We welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, giving honor unto our Lord and Savior, giving honor unto the prophets and apostles of old, giving double honor unto our present-day teacher, leader, and God, Pastor Gino Jennings, giving honor unto all the ministering brothers that are laboring, going forth in the Word of God, giving honor to all, unto all who came out this day. We ask that you pray for the ones that want to be with us but can't, the ones that can be but aren't, that God will continue to grant mercy unto them. We bear witness that the Lord our God is one, none other with him, none other beside him, none equal to him, none greater than him. He is God and God alone. We know him and his name is? What's his name? God for that wealth of reformation. Amen. Amen. Because when we know who our Lord and Savior is, we have great wealth. Amen. Because we know we have a, we have the opportunity for salvation. Amen. I just want to thank God for the opportunity of being here with brothers and sisters, being here for the Delmar 29th anniversary and Baltimore 12th anniversary. We welcome all visitors, thanking God for you being here with us, being in our present. I know the song said, I don't know what you came to do, but I know what I came to do. Amen. I came to hear the word of God and to get my soul fed. Amen. Amen. The singing's good. The praise is good. But if you don't have the word, you're still lacking a little bit. You got to get the soul fed. Amen. So without any further ado, I want to present unto you our present day teacher, leader, and guide, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Will you bear witness there is no God but one? There's no God with him. There is no God besides him. There's no God greater than him. And there is no God equal to him. To all of our beloved brothers and sisters that are able to fit in here, we thank God for all of you. I wish we would have had a much larger venue to give you more room, but we had to make well enough do. The Baltimore Temple, even though it has a balcony and everything, the members feel that by itself. To all of our ministers that are here, to all of our guests, to the many millions that are watching, we're here in Baltimore, Maryland, in this wicked, ungodly city. Where there's so much bloodshed, so much killing, stealing, murder, rape, and religion has not been able to do anything. In fact, religion is a contributing factor to the problem. It takes the Lord to get things straight. You look for the governor to do it, he won't be able. Right. Mayor won't be able. Right. The only one that everyone in the earth have to look to is God himself. Yeah. 
Before going any further, we want to get a couple of, of announcements out the way. You that is in the South Chicago area, remember October 12th and 13th, we will be at the Double Tree by Hilton, Chicago Oak Brook, 1909 Spring Road. That's the Double Tree by Hilton, Chicago Oak Brook, 1909 Spring Road in Oak Brook, Illinois. October 12th, October 13th. You that want to be Bible right, you make sure you come. Uh, you that is in the nearby cities and nearby states, you come. Bring your pastor. Close your church down so everybody can get Bible right. You know, if you ain't Bible right, you're really not having no church. Nobody. Doesn't matter how long you've been a member of some church and how long you've been going to church or the position that you hold in your church. In order for that wisher, that preaching, that singing, that testifying, that's carrying on to be accepted in the eyes of God, it must be done according to the scriptures. If it's not done according to the scriptures, then of course it's a waste of time. And we certainly don't want to be wasting our time. So Chicago, remember, October 12th and 13th, we're looking to see you in the south side of Chicago. Uh, to you that is in the Greensboro, North Carolina area, we'll be starting a new service. Elder Ben Arrington will be there uh, starting October 27th. Morning service at 10.30 a.m. in Greensboro, North Carolina. Now, I don't have no location here. You gave me an announcement, but you didn't give me in a location. Making an announcement and they don't know where to go is, is unfruitful. So uh, you redo this and give it back to me so I can announce it for tomorrow, starting October 27th. Service will be held in Greensboro. That's very nice. <laughs> Go back to the drawing board and rewrite the announcement so we can let the people know where and what time and what place. So, because Greensboro's anywhere. All right, family, we're glad to be here so I can knock you over this evening. <laughs> knock you over with the book. Call your attention to the greatest thing. We're glad to be back in America, even though this country is wicked. We had a very profitable meeting in Berlin, Germany, and Mozambique and Malawi, Africa. Souls were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus as well as received the Holy Ghost. Many came to walk with the Word of God, and uh, we'll be back on the road again. God willing, we'll be in Jamaica, if the Lord's will, for the convention there. We have Australia coming up. We have Auckland, New Zealand coming up for the South Pacific Convention. And before you know it, we'll be at the end of 2024. Amen. We, everybody will be in Philadelphia at headquarters. December will be here in no time. I want to remember, I ask everybody, please remember the brothers and sisters that is in Florida, Georgia, and different areas of the Carolinas, the Lord seen fit to come through there and tear up things. I believe that storm really tore up a lot. Many lost, lost their lives and pray for the families. As I often say over the air, God proves to every human living you don't own anything. I wish I could get this in the head and the mind of everyone. Yes, Naked you came into the world. Naked you shall return. Nobody owned anything. God takes what he wants when he wants to take it, including taking you. Whenever man and woman understand your reason, the reason God made you was for his glory. That's the purpose that we are here. The scriptures teaches us that he created us for his glory. God have us here that he may get all the glory out of our life, that he may get all the satisfaction 
out of our life. And as soon as men and women realize this, you can't look to the government of America. If you haven't found that out now, you're awful blind. Stop looking to Hollywood. They've been in a mess. And they're in more of a mess. Stop looking to your bank account. You'll soon lose that. Hey Amen. It's no need for no one to glory in nothing but God himself. Amen. Understand this. The affections of the earth and all the people of the world, you're looking the wrong direction. Everybody's heart, mind, and soul should be towards heaven. While religion is trying to get us to focus on materialism, God's purpose is for us to focus on him. That's why it takes God to make a preacher. You know, God has to send a preacher, and that preacher mission is to introduce everybody to God himself. You look at the preachers and look at religion, there's so much junk on social media now. Let me say this while it comes to mind. I want to say to all of my viewers that watch the truth of God around the world on social media, there's so many scams out here. And there's a lot of people that have hijacked the name First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They have hijacked my name, Pastor Jennings. They have made artificial websites and fake websites just to collect your money. Amen. We're not over there begging you for money. You don't have to pay to watch us. We'll come and blow your house down free. So uh, you want to find out whether these scams, I mean, you'll find my name attached to all type of dumb websites. And C-Rock, I got your text. Brother C-Rock text me. I know he was laughing and so was I. Uh, someone posted... Uh, this just happened, I believe, or three minutes ago or five minutes ago. Pastor Jennings passed away. What? Yeah. I was supposed to be a dead man. You wish, buddy. Wish. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Wish. Another website, they said, Pastor Jennings have just been arrested. <laughs> They got, a, they got a picture of me oh, Lord. behind bars. <laughs> I mentioned before about another fake website, Pastor Jennings single-handedly just burnt down the potter's house. <laughs> Why don't you no good backward collar, Cadillac driving, manicured, nail cross-wearing, hypocrite, stop playing church. God ain't nothing to play with. So, there's a lot of sites out there, scams. They want you to pay them and they use my name. They hustle you. It's just a hustle. Amen. So, to you that, uh, even in the truth of God, that wants to set up websites, and you that are out there and whatnot, we have a uh, certain team, a media team, that will, if you want to air the truth of God program, that's fine, but we have a media team for you to contact. Brother Dan, the man is the president, and they help you organize everything and make sure it's ran right. That's it. And that way, uh, it is supervised by the church. That's right. Amen. Pastor Jennings, there are people that got my name on their website, and many of you people, and on Facebook also, Amen. I met with my team over Zoom last uh, night, and <laughs> some of the sites someone had on there, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, had our logo, and had a fake white artificial picture of some white fella who's supposed to be Jesus ascending up in the heavens. Lord. Now you know that's not the church. No. I preach against idolatry. Right. I preach against imagery. Right. Amen. So these fake things, so to weed out, 
you social media devils <laughs> that too lazy to go to work so you want to make a living off my name yeah. uh, don't be surprised when your site is pulled down by our team Hey Amen. We're going to pull you down and get you off the air and report you. Right. And so everything, I want to say to all the churches, any announcement you have, all ministers, in the announcement you have of any event that is going on in any local church, you send that announcement to the media team. Yes, sir. And that way, then they'll be able to post it. And once they uh, let me know what's going on and we verify it, because he, he, we won't be able to keep up with all these hypocrites. No. But what we can destroy, we will destroy. Amen. Because the devil, he's in uh, hypocrite in business. Oh, yes. And uh, we refuse to allow him to use the church and use my name. That's right. Now, I forgot the fella's name. What's the fella's name of the text you sent me? Uh... My son said, me, there's a false prophet, a homosexual bishop. He don't have the uh, first lady as a wife. He have the first man as a husband. Oh. And people sent him the message that I mentioned last week. They've been emailing him the message. And he sent me word and said that uh, if Pastor Jennings want him to debate him, give him his plane ticket, give him his hotel stay, I do better than that. Once we fly you in, give you a hotel, I have my brothers pick you up and chauffeur you to church. What's that false prophet name? Bishop Keith McQueen. Hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. homosexual bishops yeah. this liar got over social media and said Jonathan and King David was two homosexual lovers in the Bible Lord. this blasphemer said that Ruth and Naomi hmm. were the first lesbian couples of the Bible Lord. All right, you homosexual hypocrite. You come on and bring your pink gloves. I'm going to send you your tickets. We're going to give you the date, Wonderful. location, and your hotel stay. Wonderful. I'm going to beat you out of your pink panties. Mr. Queen, I'm going to fly you wherever I'm at. And your first man can come with you. Yeah. And any of you fairies in America Go ahead, man. that want to come to this fight, Go ahead. because it ain't going to be no fight. No, it's not a fight. He's fighting for every homosexual in the world. Boy. I'm fighting for Bible. That's, it. That's what I'm fighting for. This is what you got to do, Queen. You got to give Bible, chapter, and verse mm -hmm. that says Jonathan and David we're lovers, lovers, homosexual lovers. Yeah. You got to give Bible chapter and verse that says Ruth and Naomi were the first lesbian couple. You better give me the Old Testament with Jonathan first and, and David. Mm -hmm. What the, what kind of love they had? Right. Because this is the this is where these homosexual pulpit, no good, sloppy mouth. Buzzards, buzzards, run to. That's right. 
First and Samuel chapter 18. All right, turn Brother Williams up. Turn him loud. I loud. want the queen to hear this. Yes. Amen. I'm going to make you live up to your name, queen. That's right. You're going to live up to your name, God knows. That's right. All right, hear me good now. First and Samuel chapter 18, and we'll start at verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul. He, when it came to pass when he made an end of speaking to Saul. That the soul of Jonathan. Listen, hear me, hear me good. Hmm. The soul of Jonathan was knit, was knit with the soul of David, with the soul of David, and J and Jonathan loved him, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Now that means this. You know the Bible said there is no greater love. Greater love. The one that lays down their life for his friends, for their friend. So this is the type of love that it's talking about. That's right. Jonathan ain't wanted to get down in David's underwear. That's right. Am I right, I said? Yeah. Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Jonathan loved him as his own soul. As his own soul. You know that type of love Jesus had. Yeah. That's right. Thank God Jesus loved the soul of man. That's right. That's what the Bible says. God so loved the world. The world. What was it about the world? He loved their soul. That's it. That's why he died. That's right. He was put to death in the flesh and came on back quickened by the spirit and he died so your soul can get soul. right. That's it. So let me tell you something, Queen. Uh, you will be getting an email from my media director, Dan DeMann. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to give you a nice big platform. Right. Mm -hmm. And you got to give Bible that say what you say. That's it. You blaspheme. That's right. And say Jonathan and Saul was... Uh, Homosexual. Homosexuals. Jonathan and David was homosexual. My Lord. And now you got to give Bible that says Ruth and Naomi was homosexual. I want every homosexual preacher to hear me. That's right. From California <laughs> to Maine That's right. to Florida to Texas to Canada and any other place. Any other that place. includes the White House, which is the dog house. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I dare any congressman, Democrat, or Republican, mm -hmm. any preacher in America, America, all of you homosexuals that love to parade up and down the streets mm -hmm. with your rainbow flag, I don't care. That's right. I dare any one of you living. That's right. Take the Bible. Take the Bible. And show me one holy, sanctified, Homosexual right. in the Bible. That's right. There is no homosexual bishops in that Bible. No, it's not. There is no homosexual prophets in the Bible. That's right. You think God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for? That's right. Because they was playing checkers? <laughs> no, no. No. These people are religious disgrace. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah. Hear me now. Hear now, this. Now the book of Jude chapter 1 and verse 7. Listen at this skip chapter and verse again. Jude chapter 1 and at verse 7. All right. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah. Hear this queen. Even as Sodom. Hear, hear this queen. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Jude chapter 1 and verse 7. Even as Sodom and if, Gomorrah. If anybody watching now that know, I won't call them bishop. That's an insult. That's an insult. That's an insult. You don't want to be a man, so I ain't gonna call you, I'm not going to call you Mr. Queen. That's right. Just plain on queen. Just queen. Just queen. Hear what the Bible says. Jude chapter 1 and verse 7. What is it? Even as Sodom and Gomorrah. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah. And the cities about them in like manner. The cities about them in like manner. Giving themselves over to they fornication. Giving themselves over to fornication. And, and going after strange flesh. That man who's supposed to be the first man. The first man. That strange flesh. Strange flesh. Think of this human family. Hear the old troublemaker that you don't like. <laughs> Amen. We're living in a time now mm -hmm. where the churches are so dirty. That's it. They are religiously dirty. That's right. They are religiously 
filthy. Filthy. They are rotten. Oh, yes. From pulpit to the door. That's right. Every piece of filth and junk. That's right. Is having so called church now. Amen. This mess, hear me, good viewers, and you that are here. Go ahead. This junk that's going on in the world is not church. No. Sanctioned by the Bible. No way. This junk is church mockery. That's right. That's why the Lord have never mm -hmm. left himself. Without a witness. Without a witness. Never. See, God got to have a witness. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. Thank God, God got to have a you. witness in the earth That's right. that are called everybody attention That's right. to the Bible. That's right. Not to nobody personal feeling. Yes, not to nobody emotion. No, sir. But he calls the world attention to the Bible. Yes, That's right. You better read this, son. Now in the book of Acts, chapter uh, 14. Follow me in your Bible. And we'll start reading in verse 15. Now what is it now? And saying, sirs, why do ye these things? Sirs! <laughs> Amen. That's what I want to know. That's what you want to know. Why are you doing these things? We also are men of like passions with you. And someone sent me a clip of my cousin that they ran out of Baltimore, Jamal Bryan. Mm. Thank God for Baltimore. Amen. You should have been ran that get the crit out of here. Amen. They sent me a clip of his wife getting up and uh, she was speaking against women adorning themselves in a holy manner. Mm. His wife supposed to be a preacher. And uh, I don't know whether it's the first or second or third. I don't know. Mm. But uh, she was up there saying uh, people, men is up preaching and saying the woman's dresses are too short or too tight or uh, back should be covered and too much cleavage showing, too mm. much thighs and legs showing, oh. too much makeup. You shouldn't have no wig. She said, Get that H E L L out of here with that garbage. My Lord. That's the preacher's wife. That, my Lord, my Lord. Jezebel's daughter. That's right. Jezebel's daughter fight for Jezebel's fame. That's right. God church is a church of order. That's right. You have no business coming to God church and God women look like a bunch of street thoughts. That, that's right. Go ahead. The Go ahead. men in church look like a bunch of homosexual and pimps. That's right. The Bible speaks plain in Leviticus 10 and 10. Let us put a difference. Put a difference between holiness between holy holy and unholy. And and between unclean and clean. Well, thank God, it got to be a difference. Put a difference. And this is why the sinners now Put difference. make fun about church. And you can't blame them. That's right. The churches are just as dirty and no dirty. good. It ain't nothing but a racket. That's it. And rob you out of money. That's right. Church supposed to be like it was in the days of Noah. Yeah. Thank God the church is like the ark. That's right. Being built by the Lord to save us from the destruction coming upon creation. And that ye may put and difference. That's what's coming upon the world. That's right. Destruction. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Destruction is coming upon the world. That's right. And here we out here dancing and partying and partying. drinking and smoking partying. and lying and swearing. That's right. And out here like you're going to live forever. That's right. You're not going to live forever. No, no. Put difference. The Bible says in Leviticus 10 10. And that ye may put difference. We go whole holiness yes. and press the world with it. <laughs> that's right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. Whatever God said, that's what we're going to say. That Amen. Do you put a difference? That ye may put difference between, between holy, holy and unholy. It got to be a difference. It's got to be a difference. It got to be a difference between church and street. That's right. 
It's got, got to, to be. be a difference. If there's no difference, why you eject? Amen. You might as well stay out there at the bar and dance, because there's a lot of places to hang out here. Oh, yeah. In Baltimore? <laughs> Amen. Thank God the city is full of wickedness. That's and, right. Amen. And ungodliness. And That's right. There's a whole lot of things to do other than come to church. Oh, yes. Thank God. God, if you're here tonight, you got to be here because you don't want to die wrong. That's right. Am I right? That's right. If you're wise, you don't want to die wrong. If you're wise. You want to die right. Amen. Because rest assured you, you're going to die one day. That's right. And you're either going to die wrong or right. All right. If I die wrong, I die in my sins. Amen. Thank you. God, if I die right, oh, yes. oh, I take God, I die obeying God. And that you put difference. What a difference. Between holy, between holy and unholy. And unholy. And between unclean, between unclean and clean. Now, high in the world is the church today. These churches, they claim they're Pentecostal and apostolic and Baptist and Methodist and non-denominational now. And, they, and you can do anything. Anything. I don't care what it is. That's right. And this is why the sinners have lost respect That's right. for the churches. Yeah. Hey Amen. People have been uh, emailing me, emailing me and uh, about what's going on there among the rap industry. Look, man, the thing that's going on in the rap industry mm -hmm. been going on for years. <laughs> that's all. Amen. It's nothing new. Mm -hmm. Amen. But one thing came on the news. They said that Mr. Combs, they, the federal government found 38 videos of bishops. What? <laughs> 38 videos of Bishop, my lord, my lord, all with baby oil. Oh, oh. <laughs> my lord, Ooh, there it is. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You old sloppy mouth, greasy thing. Sloppy mouth. Any time a man is on his knees, he should be praying. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Am I right, man? Yeah. Come back to me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Look, very slippery. We don't need no baby oil to pray. Yeah. Very slippery, Pastor. Very slippery. That's very slippery. Jeremiah chapter yeah, 23. I want to get Bible for this. Jeremiah chapter 23, it, it verse 12. Funny, but I'm going to get Bible that, for that's you right. slippery preachers. I'm going to get Bible for it. That's right. All right, let's read this. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 12. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 12. And verse 12 w says, Wherefore their way, their, wherefore their, their way, way shall be unto them, shall be unto them a slippery way. What kind? Slippery waves. What kind? Slippery waves. What kind? Slippery waves. In the darkness. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> their way. Their way shall be unto them. Shall be unto them. A slippery way. Where is the slip where is the slippery way taking place at? In the darkness. <laughs> In the book. That's right. That's right. Read, read that again. Jeremiah, I, I want all you queens. All you queens. To hear this. That's right. You so-called reverends. Amen. You so-called pastors. Yeah. Bishops. Apostles. Elders. Evangelists. Prophets. I don't care what you call yourself. That's right. You are nothing but a disgrace to church. That's right. That's right. You are disgrace to church. Amen. You ought to be arrested and charged for personating a preacher. For both prophet. Now, give chapter and verse again. Jeremiah chapter 23, now in verse 11. A slippery slope going on here. <laughs> for both prophet. You baby oil bacon grease loving <laughs> preachers. That's right. That's right, Pastor. Hear me good now. Jeremiah chapter 23, now at verse 11. Hear me good now. Hear me good. Hear me good. We're going to cook you like cook chestnuts you. on an open fire. <laughs> That's right. All right.
Jeremiah Williams, come on. Jeremiah chapter 23 and at I, verse I, I 11. I told you we could pin you down with Bible. <laughs> That's right. I got to pin them down with Bible. Pin them down with Yeah, a lot of folks don't know this is in the Bible. That's right. Amen. But hear what the Bible says. Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse 11. What is it? For both prophet. Both messengers and priests the prophet and the preacher listen at the bible for both prophet and priest. 38 videos my lord of preachers my lord my lord my lord 38 busy <laughs> videos my lord my lord you stuffed hogs out there that's right that's right you meatloaf preachers meatloaf Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, they don't like me because they know I don't I, I don't bite my tongue. No, no. What is a grown man doing parked? His mechanics in the back pocket of another man. That's right. That's right. Why would another man want to drop his jaws? Go ahead, man. For another man. Amen. Am I right, man? Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me say what I said in Boston. Mm -hmm. Your eyes may shine. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what this is the way all real men feel. All real men feel this way. That's right. Your eyes may shine. Oh, yeah. And I want you that are listening and you tell this to your slippery, greasy slippery. baby oil bishop. That's right. Tell this to your so-called bishop queen. That's right. Your eyes may shine. Amen. Your teeth may grit. But no man's booty <laughs> you should ever get. That's right. Am I right, I said? soldiers you soldiers that are here repeat after me brothers come on soldiers stand up and let's tell this homosexual word stand up with it. your eyes may shine your teeth may grit but this booty here you will never get How is this? That this illness oh, yes. have came in churches and took them over. That's right. Took them over. It shouldn't be a rainbow flag thrown on the outside of no church. No, no. Now, if you homosexual, we won't push you out. No. We're going to preach Jesus and him crucified. That's right. And let the word of God clean you up. That's it. And straighten you up. Straighten you out. And straighten you out. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's why they hate the truth of God on Amen. social media. They don't like it. No. So I want to say the queen. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to be hearing from our social media director, Dan the Man Stasiak. Yes. And that goes for any gay preacher in the world. That's right. In the world. You don't have to wait for my media director to contact you. Yeah. You can walk in the building anywhere I'm at in the country yeah. and just throw your hands up to interrupt the service yeah. and you will have the privilege to get your Bible, yeah. chapter and verse, yes. to justify two men. Two men. Marrying each other, right. two women yes. marrying each other, and buying Kamala Harris 
say everybody got a right to love. That's not love. That's not love. The Bible ain't never called that love. No, no. You better give me the book of Leviticus, son. Yes. And then we get the book of Romans. Yeah. Let's see what God called it. What God ain't say. never called it love. No. And I'm going to call it what God called it. That's right. And whatever God said it is, I'm going to say it is. That's right. All right, son. What's what you have? Leviticus chapter 20 and wet verse 13. Glory to God, get this. Leviticus 20 and verse 13. All right. If a man. Uh oh. <laughs> How plain is this? How plain is this? How plain does the word of God have it? If a man. If a man. Also lie with mankind. Also lie with mankind. As he lies with a woman. Now, any of us men that been with a woman know how we lay with that woman. That's right. That's right. Is that right, I say? Amen. If a man, if a man also lie also with mankind, lie with mankind as he lies in with a the woman, same manner that he lie with a woman, both of them, just one is wrong. Both of them, the first man, both of them, the bishop and his first man, both of them, both. Of them have committed an abomination. Have committed making love. Have committed an abomination. No, they made love. Both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them, not just one. Both of them. Both of them have committed an abomination. And what else? They shall surely be put to death. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. That don't sound like there was an act being performed by two lovers. No. That's an abomination. It's an abomination. abomination. There ain't no love there. No. no. Rappers with rappers. <laughs> Both of them. No have wonder you like walking with your pants down. <laughs> oh, that's right. Go ahead, Pastor. A real man don't Go walk ahead, with his pants down. Go ahead. Advertising his behind. That's right. A real man got his pants up on him. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. I see why you rappers out there love your pants down so much. <laughs> your booty watchers. Booty watchers. Booty lovers. That's right. Want to see whose back pocket is greased. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. I'm going to make it so plain you got to understand. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Now the book of Romans, you chapter know, they want to censor me, you know. Yes, they do. You know what's so strange? <laughs> they are censor what I preach, but a movie can show it and they won't censor it. That's right. They didn't censor when the movie came out called Brokeback Mountain. No, they didn't. It was called Broke Back Mountain <laughs> for a reason. Two men stuck in the mountain, stuck, broke back. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's, that's right. <laughs> Their back was broke. That's right. We come along to straighten your spine up. Amen. Amen. That's Ain't nobody man. get offended with this. No. But a hypocrite. That's right. Amen, God. Now the book of Romans, chapter 1, and at verse 24. God, I want to shake up the White House shake and all of Congress. Amen. Because they still trying to shove this junk down on other nations. Yeah. I, I just came from Africa several weeks ago. Yeah. And some of the brothers and some of the sisters was talking to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. How there in their country, the government of America, the ambassadors and other representatives of America flew to their country. Lord. Meeting with the officials of their country, trying to get them to come aboard same-sex marriages. And I say before, and I say again, they, they, they're trying to push it in the Caribbean. Yeah. They're trying to push it in Jamaica. Yeah. They're trying to push it in the Bahamas. They're trying to push it in Barbados. They're trying to push it in Trinidad. They're trying to push it in the Virgin Islands. Why is it so needful for a man to be in a man's job? That's right. That's right. Why is that such a necessity? It's a necessity. Where you will fight for.
for a man to sleep with a man, but you won't fight to put food in poverty-stricken people's mouths. That's right. You won't fight for that. Amen. Amen. Let me say I'm gay. I got the whole government on my side. Yeah. Let me say I'm hungry. Every politician will leave me sleeping in the street. That's right. I want to say to every politician, every judge, every preacher walking the earth, you're going to stand before God. That's right. Every human that justifies same-sex marriages, you're on the Lord's hit list. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You better give me the book of Romans, son. Now in the book of Romans, chapter 1. I had no intentions on working on this, <laughs> but I'm telling you that when the Bible says... God never left himself without, without, a, without witness. a witness. I know he made me one. Yes, he did. I'm, I'm, I'm truly a Jehovah witness. Yeah, that's right. I'm witnessing for the great Jehovah here. That's right. Come on, son. Romans chapter 1, we're at verse 24. All right. Wherefore, God also gave them up to unclean. Wherefore? Amen. God also gave them up. Gave them up to unclean. To unclean. To the lust of their own heart. To the lust of their own heart. To dishonor their own body. Wait a minute. Amen. What are they doing to their body? Dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Amen. They are doing what? Dishonor their own bodies between themselves. See, when I lay yeah. with my wife, that's honorable. That's honorable. I don't care what position I put her in. If I want to. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. That's honorable. That's honorable. Amen. Amen. That's right. If I walk around and hold her up in the air like a baby, that's honorable. Marriage is honorable in all. That's honorable. In all. Huh? Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible says. Hebrews chapter 13 and read verse 4. Says what? Marriage is honorable in all. Good to God. Amen. Marriage is honorable. It's honorable. In all. In all. And the bed. And the bed. Undefiled. Undefiled. When it says all, that means man towards woman, towards woman, woman towards man. That's right. That's right. That's not talking about man and man, no. woman and woman. No, no, no. That's where marriage is honorable you know. when it falls under the law that God made it. That's right. All right, back to Romans. Back what in, did he say? Back in Romans 1 and verse 24. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Hear me good. Now I want to soak you. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness. God gave them up to that which is unclean. Through the lust of their own hearts. Through the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own dishonor bodies between, their own themselves. Body between themselves. Who changed the truth of God. This is the problem. Who changed the truth of God. The truth is Adam and Eve. That's right. They want to change that to Adam and Steve. That's right. The Bible said if a man desire the office of a bishop, he desire the office of a good work, let him be the husband of one wife. It ain't say let him be the husband of one man. <laughs> no, no. No. You bunch of liars out there. That's right. This is the lack of respect that the people have for the Bible. And now the world is just coming right to it. Yes. Everything that's dirty, filthy, and no good, the world love it. That's right. They look at me as a caveman preacher. <laughs> that's right. Outdated. He's not up to date okay. with the times. He's primitive. The Bible says they neglect the old oh, pathway. pathway. I'm going to stick to the Yo. teaching of the ancient of days. Stand ye in the way. Listen to what the word of God says. Jeremiah chapter 6 and at verse 16. What is that? Thus saith the Lord. Give chapter and verse again. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord. Stand ye in the ways and see. Stand in the way. And see. And see. And ask for the old path. What shall we ask for? Ask for the old path. I want the old path. Where it is the good way. What, 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 what kind of way is that? Where it is the good way. That's a good way. When good I way. see a man that never had a wife and a woman that never had a husband that's right. get married, that's a good way. Good way. When you see two men get married or two women go through the motions of marriage and two men go through the motions of marriage, that's, right. that's not a good way. That's a dirty way. That, that's right. And every man that uh, went through the motions of pretending that you're married, you ain't married. You're not married. You ain't married. No. You ain't married at 
all. No. You ain't doing nothing but faking. And that no good preacher, he's not doing nothing but faking. Right. Your license is no good, no good even if the government of America sanction it. That's right. The government can stand behind it, but God don't recognize it. That's right. That's right. Don't you men see how society is trying to take away your masculinity? Amen. You can't see that? That's true. Look at the clothes society makes. That's right. They want your pants to be tight. That's right. They want your hair to be long like women. Like women. They want you to wear a ponytail. That's You're right. a man. That's right. They want you to wear a man bun. You got rubber band and barrettes in your hair like a woman. That's right. They're taking away oh. your masculinity. Oh, yeah. They are. And they think something is wrong with me because I preach against it. That's right. Stand up and be a man. That's right. That's right. Look who image God made you in. Amen. God made you in his image. In his image. You have to be glad to be in the image of your Lord of creation. That's right. That's right. But look at it. Look at it. They're not happy about being made in God's image now. No. So the devil stepped them and made them in another image. That's right. Don't want to be a man. No. Don't want to be woman. <laughs> Amen. So what are you? What are you? What are you? Like you a plaid horse. Yeah. That's right. Don't want to wear stripes like a zebra. Don't want to have some spots like a horse. That's right. So you want the devil to crossbreed you. That's right. That's right. Want to be a, some crossbreed. A cross, cross. Want to be transformed. Yeah. Into what you're not. That's right. I don't care how tight you wear your pants. Your hair can hang past your shoulders. Yeah. You're a man. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. can toss your hair around all you want. <laughs> like you got Tourette's. That's right. That's You're right. a man. You're a man. Another man can lay on top of you while you got your Chuck Taylors on, scraping the popcorn off the ceiling with your size 22 feet. <laughs> That's right. You're still a man. Still a man. Amen. Amen. Still a man. Put on your wig. Yeah. Put a silicone in your chest and look like a woman. Amen. Get shots in your hips and make them sprout out. That's you right. still can't have no period. That's you right. You still don't get no cramps. Go ahead, Pastor. You still can't wear no tampons. Go ahead. You a man. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Right, right. Go ahead. Yes, I said it in a minute. That's right. You can't get no cramps like a woman. No. You don't have a period like a woman. No, no. You don't have no tampons in like a woman. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Where you going to put the tampon? In your behind? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Switch, twerk, all you want. All you want. When the smoke clear. That's right. Use a man. Still a man. Still a man. Uh, he's too graphic. If you don't like it, turn it off. Go ahead, <laughs> Go ahead brother. I ain't got no sugar in me. Oh, no. And if there's any sugar babies in here, you in the right place, in the right Jack. Place. Oh, yes. Because we're going to tighten you up. That's right. With God's word. That's right. We're going to strain you up Take and you strain you out. That's right. That's right. Some of these weak men post, oh, he tell the truth, but I don't like his delivery. Who cares if you don't like it? Who cares? Paul said, though I be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. That's the problem. That's it. These old sugar babies in the pulpit. That's right. Scared to tell you what the Bible says. That's right. Scared to tell you yeah. what's right yeah. because you're you you their puppet master. Yeah. You use money to master him. Yeah. I'm not being controlled by dollars. No, no. I ain't being manipulated by women. That's right. I'm being controlled by heaven. That's right. And if you don't like it, so what? Amen. It's God's way yeah. or no way. Yeah. It's God's way. 
Hallelujah. We ain't playing church. Oh, no. Oh, no. Church is to be governed by the scriptures. That's right. You folk that want to play church, stay home. Yeah. You that want to do it right, follow what's written. Follow what's written. This homosexual trash Go ahead, is brother. only Congress. That's right. Congressman Buttigieg. <laughs> Booty Jet. Booty Jet. <laughs> I just can't see it. You know, when I was 14, you know, when I first saw my wife and she was jumping rope, you know, she had on shorts and, you know, t shirt. Man, I saw them big legs and red bones. And I was looking at her up and down and all around. <laughs> she jumping rope and everything up here jumping with her. <laughs> I was scoping on it. Yeah. Yeah, right. I was gritting on it. That's right. I was checking it out. Yeah. How in the world can you look at a man that way? You a man. My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. That's something. Are you listening? My Lord, my Lord. Hear what the scripture says. Back in Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. What is it? Who changed the truth of God. This is the problem. Amen. They changed the truth of God. Into a lie. Into a lie. And worshiped and served the creature more they than the creator. And served the creature. More than the creator. More than the creator. He's blessed forever. Amen. So this is why it is so easy for these churches to fall so low. So low. Because they're worshiping creatures. That's right. More than the creator. And they're not worshiping the creator. No. And we only have one creator. That's right. And Christ is he. For this cause. For this reason. God gave them up unto vile affections. Look at here. Amen. Vile affections. Well, that's why the social media is all buzzing about combs. Yeah. That don't surprise me. No. No. No, no. It's been done. That's right. And it will continue to be done until Jesus comes. That's right. Churches are doing it. That's right. Not just combs. Churches are doing it. Amen. Bishops are doing it. So-called apostles are doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? That's right. Hear this now. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. God gave them up unto vile affection. For even their women. Yeah, even their women. Did change the natural use. Into that which is against nature. The natural use is woman to man. To man. When it's against nature, against it's nature. woman want to marry woman. That's right. All right. Likewise, and likewise also the men. The men leaving the natural use of the woman. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Amen. They done left the, the so called first lady of the woman and want the first man. Burned in their lust. Wait a minute. How bad is their desire? Burned in their lust one toward another. I had a man My Lord. got on social media. Burned. I got thick eyelashes, long eyelashes. The man on social media looking at my eyes. Well, you look like you got on eyeliner shadow. Your eyes ain't that thick. What are you looking at my eyes that thick for? That's right. That's right. You're too close. You're too close. Another man wrote, Well, your skin is mighty smooth. You must wear makeup. What you worried about because I ain't got no bumps on? That's right. You shouldn't be worried about how smooth my skin is. No. What is your intention? What is your <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you listening? And likewise, also the men. Oh, I know social media going to be hot. Oh, yeah. They're mad. They're mad now. And when you're mad, then let me know that the gospel's doing good. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hundred. And likewise, also the men. Likewise, also your pastor. Leaving the natural use of the woman. He left his wife. Burned in their lust. He leave his wife. He leave his girlfriend. That's he right. leave his fiance because he got he looked at the deacon so long. My lord. He looked at the altar boy so long. He was looking at Bishop running revival so long. That's right. He looking at them jumping around the pulpit in that robe That's and he right. can't contain himself. That's right. Burned in their lust. One toward another. Now let me get raw. Er. <laughs> My Lord, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. You mean to tell me 
a bishop is up preaching mm. and men in the congregation mm. getting hard on looking at him oh, my lord my lord <laughs> men over social media men looking at men supposed to be preaching the gospel the gospel that's right and you get the hard on looking at the screen my lord my lord that's something burned in their lust they do what burn in their lust one toward another that's what that means that's right burned Burned. That's what that means. Burning their lust one toward another. You get a hard on looking at a man. Burning their lust. Amen. That's something. That's something. Amen. Burning their lust. There ain't no program in the world like this one. <laughs> oh, no. Amen. That's right. This is raw truth. Yes, it is. This is the most raw pro-religious program in the world today. That's right. And we keep it like the Bible have it. That's right. Ain't no real man got no business getting hard looking at a man. No way. The brothers on their knees praying, it ain't no man got no business coming in looking at the brothers he getting hard on. That's, that's right. That's right. That's a problem. Are you listening? Amen. Hear what the word of God says. Romans 1 and verse 27. And oh, Pastor Jenna, you can say it nicer than that. If it's, it, listen, if you don't <laughs> like what is said and you get offended, check yourself out. Check yourself out. Check yourself out. That's right. I could be around any man in the world. Ain't nothing on me moving. No, sir. <laughs> I don't care how much you clap. I don't care how much you shout. That's right. I don't care how much you bounce around. Ain't nothing on me moving. No, no. Straight up. Amen. Let my wife walk by me. Everything moving. Amen. 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 I'm Amen. Home many times she walk by. I'm home. I just walk by. <laughs> And then I stand there and do this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then it rings through the howls of a solitude. <laughs> I don't have no desire to smack no man. No, but no, no. You football players and basketball yeah. players. Watch that. I understand being happy over a three-point shot. Right. I understand being happy over a slam dunk. Yes. I understand being happy because I play both sports. Right. I play football and I play basketball. That's right. And I box. That's right. And I did martial arts and mixed martial arts That's up right. to 10 years. Yes, That's right. But we never got so happy <laughs> we slapped you on your butt. <laughs> That's true. Man, I'm from the hood. We don't play that. That's right. Yeah. You run and make a touchdown. Yeah. We ain't get happy and slap you on your behind. No. No. No, we did that. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Are you listening? That's right. You basketball players, get your hands out of my pocket. <laughs> That's get right. your hands off that man's behind. That's right. You football players, get your hands That's off right. that man's behind. Yeah. It ain't that much joy in a sport that you got to yeah. touch each other's behind. That's right. That's true. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. That's right. No more than a preacher should be so anointed. Yes. You come out the pulpit and sit on men's lap. That's right. That's right. You're supposed to be preaching, getting the message over, and you sitting on men's lap in lap. some anointing, My Lord. rocking back and forth. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh, greasy mouth deacon just sitting there. Go ahead, Bishop. Go ahead. That's right. The scripture teaches us that all things be done decently and in order. And in order. And in order. That's right. That's wonderful. 
Go back to the book of Romans. Back in Romans 1, still at verse 27. Thank God we're going to get this good. And likewise also the men. Likewise also the men. Leaving the natural this use of the, the Bible. Woman. You can call it gay bashing. I don't care what you call it. The Bible God made Adam and Eve. Yes, he did. He made the woman for the man. For the man. Society chose to change it. That's right. We're going to keep it the way God has it. That's right. It ain't no politician got the right to institute a new law of marriage. No. The law of marriage was instituted by the creator himself. That's right. And if you preachers are too scared, too timid, too, too timid. wealthy That's to right. speak against it, get out the pulpit. Amen. Get out the pool. That's why you don't hear T.D. Jake speaking against it. No. No. They asked T.D. Jakes, can the homosexuals uh, coexist with the church? He said, well, certainly. I don't, I don't have no hell to put them. <laughs> I don't have no hell to put them in. I don't have no heaven to put them in. <laughs> That's right. They, they been swallowed. That's Joel Austin. Swallowed. Joel Austin. Well. Amen. I am. I have homosexual friends. My Lord, my Lord. What a shame. What's wrong with the church? Why are the churches today so scared, so scared. to be like the Bible said? That's right. That's right. That's why the sinner don't respect church people. That's right. You out there dancing with them, yeah. smoking with them, yeah. getting drunk with them, in the bed with them, That's right. lying with them, That's right. gambling with them. Amen. Who will rise up for me? The church is supposed to be a light to the center where the center wants to change. That's right. That's right. But the center became a light to the church, the church. and now the churches want to be just like the center. That's right. You are an embarrassment. Oh, yeah. You religious hypocrites over social media. That's right. You are an embarrassment. That's right. Yes, no, that's no church. No. Amen. What I'm preaching about, viewers, that's no church. No. That's no church. Not church. Tell me you try to put it on me. Well, if you have to wait, Gino Jennings said, Gino Jennings ain't got no church. That's right. I didn't die for nobody. No. Jesus said, upon this rock, I built my church. My church. Except the Lord. Build the house. Build the house. They labor in vain that build. Lord, thank God they live in vain. That's that right. build us. I'm glad the truth of God, you can't get it mixed up with nothing. No, you can't. You can't get it mixed up with nobody. No. Until the Bible says the people shall do well alone. Well alone. It's different from everybody. That's right. Amen. Come on now. Let's see what it says. Romans 1 and verse 27. What is it? And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of I, the woman. I want to remind you, Queen, we're going to get you. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to email Brother Dan the information, God willing, tonight. I'm going to text it to you. Dan the man, if you're watching, watch out for a ping from your phone. <laughs> I'm going to text you this old hypocrite, God willing, tonight. Nice. Hey, Amen. They're trying to make uh, Jonathan and David homosexual men yeah. and trying to make Ruth and Naomi, Naomi the first lesbian couple of the Bible. My Lord, my Lord. Hey, Amen. Uh, this is one queen. We're going to beat unmerciful with the Bible. That's right. Hey Amen. We're going to press you with Bible pressure so with. hard. <laughs> so hard. I'm going to press you with Bible. Yes, you will. We don't need for nobody to tell me to back up. I'm going to press you press with you Bible. With. That's right. I'm going to press you with it. That's right. You're either going to give up and say the Bible is wrong or the Bible is right. That's and it. you are wrong. That's right. That's right. Come on, son. Romans 1 and verse 27. All right. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Imagine me leaving my wife. Oh, all them hips. All that leg. Leaving. All that chest. Mm. All them juicy lips. And I'm going to leave her. <laughs> leave it. For a man. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Come on. Ashy need. Ashy behind man. <laughs> That's right, Pastor. I'm all that thick body, and I'm going to leave it leave. for an ashy man. That's right. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Listen, listen if she at the stove just mixing eggs, everything gets moved. And I'm 
sitting at the table. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. You turn around, what you looking at? I said, don't be fooled out. <laughs> you turn back, you turn back around. You just keep mixing those eggs. My Lord, my Lord. <laughs> I don't care if a man at the pot stares some eggs. Right. <laughs> That's right. Am I right, man? That don't move us. No. No, no. A pair of Levi's <laughs> at the stove. At the stove. <laughs> Can't no eggs that you mix? No. Oh no. You old pervert. That's a pervert. You a pervert. That's right. You bishops out there that got boyfriends, you are perverts Perfect. with a robe. That's right. You are perverts carrying the Bible. That's right. You a bunch of church going perverts. It's perverts. You come jump on Pastor Jennings. I take care of you. <laughs> um, those if I don't take care of you, Jesus Christ isn't God. That's right. And I know he's God, so I take care of you. God knows. Oh, yes. I beat you back with the Bible, God. So help me. That's I right. I do it. That's right. That's right. Well, we'll sue you. I don't care. That's right. Don't care about that. Do I care about being sued? Amen. You sue me for what the word of God say? I won't give you a dime. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I won't give you a dime. No, no, you won't. Come on, son. What did he say? And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Leave. Leaving. Leaving the natural use of the woman. The natural use. Of the woman. Of the woman. Burn in their lust one toward another. Burn in their lust one towards the other. Who's doing it? Men with men working that which is unseemly. Men with men working. Men. With men. With men. Working. Working. That which is unseemly. They ain't doing carpentry. No. <laughs> ain't nothing unseemly about carpentry. No. Ain't nobody's fixing the light bulb. No. They're not connecting the wires. That's right. Not trying to see if the phone jack work. No. That's right. Not checking the cameras of a house. No. They're doing something unseen. unseen. Nobody's unseen. Not talking about laying no carpet. No. Not talking about building a building or writing blueprints. Amen. Not talking about audio. Ain't nothing unseen about audio. That's right. But a man with men. Men with men working. Two men blowing kisses at each other. Ooh. My Lord. Two men winking at each other. Winking. Mm. My Lord. Your tongue in another man's mouth. My God, my God. My God, my God. Men with men working that which is unseemly. When your tongue in another man's mouth, what is that? Men with men working that which is unseemly. Biting on a man's neck. Unseemly. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Trying to grease a man down. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Amen. That's something. You didn't go to the churches with a bishop looking at your son and got a hard on. Mm. Go ahead. I'm talking about some of you that are watching me. I'm talking about your daddy. Yeah. I'm talking about your grandfather. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about your uncle. That's right. I'm talking about your son. I'm talking about you. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. That's why we don't like you, Pastor Jennings. Who cares? Who cares? I ain't over the air to be liked by nobody. That's right. As long as I please God, I'm satisfied. That's it. What is it? Men with men working that which is unseen. Men. men with men. With men. Working that which is unseen. Oh, Pastor Jennings, you preach like they can't be saved. No, I'm preaching against what they're doing. What they're doing. You can be saved if you stop. That's right. Yes. You have to stop. To stop. Pull your drawers up. That's right. That's right. Pull your drawers up. Pull them up. Grown man wearing woman looking panties. Mm. I'm a man. Why, why would I wear a thong? That's right. A string in my behind. That's right. I'm a grown man. A grown man. Even a baby wear a full pamper. That's right. That's right. I'm a grown man. 
What I'm wearing a thong for That's advertising fine. my butt cheeks and then wear jeans with holes cut out where the back pockets are God, so the God. neighborhood can see my ass you behind. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Your butt loving bishop. Go ahead, brother. Your butt loving apostle. Butt loving elder. Go ahead, man. Men with men working that which is unseemly. And don't blurt it out when it's played, uh, Ron. <laughs> no. Don't blurt it. No. Let it play. <laughs> Let it play. That's right. That's right. They showing men butts on HBO. Yeah. Stay on. They showing men butts on Netflix. That's right. I'm trying to get men to cover their butt. <laughs> that's right. Are you that's listening? Right. That's right. Young men out here, men. you fathers got your sons out, pants hanging down, advertising his behind. My lord. You got this mess in the hood. That's right. That's true. Men that are gangbanging will bounce upon your son and rape mm. him like a woman. My lord. Mm. Hear me good? Men with men working that which is unseemly. Yes. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. What, what kind of indulgence is it? That recompense of their error. It's an error. Which was meat. Which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God they in their knowledge. They want the knowledge of God retained in them. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Wait a minute. God said you wanted to think this way. Amen. He gave you over to a reprobated mind. To do those things which are not convenient. To do those things which are not convenient. That are not, it's not convenient, not convenient for a man <laughs> to right. lay with the man. No, not convenient. Hmm? Amen. That's why they need oil. <laughs> you know it ain't convenient. It's not convenient. You better go back and read that again. Go back to Jeremiah back again. Back Jeremiah. Son. Amen. They say I'm too graphic, I'm That's too vulgar. Uh, let's, let's get Bible. Jeremiah again. chapter 23 and verse 12. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 12. Wherefore their way, their way shall be unto them, shall be unto them as slippery ways, slippery ways in the darkness. In the darkness. They shall be driven on. Oh, what? They shall be driven on. They shall be driven on as and fall therein. Fall therein. Where I will bring evil upon them. God is going to bring evil on you. Even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. Slipping and sliding and gliding down. around. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. You wicked things out there who claim you Christians ain't none of you Christians. No. Amen. No, Unless no. you like what the Bible says. That's right. Amen. He never left himself. You better go back to the book of Acts. Acts. Let's finish that up so I can quit now. Amen. Amen. Because I know social media fellows though they heard too much. You know, <laughs> you know what's so you know what's so strange? They'll be on social media on media cussing and fussing about this message and then watch it in its entirety. My Lord. That's something. You can't help it, can you, hypocrite? <laughs> That's right. They calling different ones now. Listen to that crazy passage in it. That's right. Talk about your daddy and your pastor and your uncle. Amen. And your son, your nephew, nephew. your snap copy grandpappy. That's right. Go ahead. Your man. pastor. Go ahead, brother. Hear this. Acts chapter 14, out verse 16. Everything here in Baltimore, you might as well leave your churches. Yeah. Leave your churches. Leave these old rotten, no good, hypocrite, and fake churches. That's right. Not just in Baltimore, everywhere else. Everywhere else. Everywhere else. That's right. They just robbing you out there with your money and playing with your soul. Amen. When I die, I want to die right, man. Oh, yes. Nice words that some preachers say over me. That ain't gonna save me. It's not gonna save me. What I do in this life while I'm alive yeah. will determine where I will spend eternity. That's right. You remember what the brother, all of what we had all the brothers say for you. Well, remember this. Your eyes may shine <laughs> and your teeth may grit. But this booty here, um, you will never get. Never get. Amen. Yeah, That's put, right. put, put that in your uh, <laughs> your sons, your father, your uncle. Put that in your pastor's appreciation card. That's right. That's right. Amen. 
Amen. Put that in the bishop's card for his anniversary. For his anniversary. Dear bishop, your eyes may shine, <laughs> your teeth may grit, but my booty under this robe, you will never get. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> That's right. Praise the Lord, hypocrite. Praise the Lord. Who oh, would take God? This is good God news. Yes, it is. Come on, son. Acts chapter 14, we're at verse 16. What is that? Who in time past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. Yes. Nevertheless, he left not himself with we At verse 13. At verse 13. What is it? Acts 14 and verse 13. Yes. Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before the city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates. Yes. And would have done sacrifice with the people. Yes. And when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes. And said what? And ran in among them, um, and ran in among the people, crying out. What? And saying, Sirs, Sirs why do ye these things? Why do you do these things? I'm asking all men. <laughs> That's right. And women, and women, the same thing. Sirs, why do ye these things? Kamala Harris, Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden, why do you find it necessary to promote yeah. fake love mm. among the same sexes? That's right. Even a dog got more intelligence. That's right. A male dog don't matter upon a male dog. No. When a male dog see a male dog, his first reaction. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He ain't going to sniff the male in the mount up. No. No. Why you men want to sniff each other? Sniff each other. Yeah, hell bound, dirty dungarees wearing things. And saying, sirs, why do ye these things? That's what I want to know. That's right. Why do ye these, these things? things? We also are men of like passions with you. Hear me, listen. That fellow's a man just like you. We also are men. This. We are men of like passions with you. Men supposed to have the same passion. Same passion. Women. That's right. That's right. Am I right? That's right. I said, am I right? I said. All men supposed to have that same passion. That's right. Woman. Woman. That's right. That's right. Bible is against sin, but if you're going to sin, at least sin right. That's right. Amen. I know you're supposed to look at the woman with a single eye. Yeah. But if you're going to look at a man the way you look at a woman. Yeah. Amen. A, a man walk by and give his offer and you leaning over looking. <laughs> That's a problem. It's wrong that if a brother do it, look at a sister, yeah. but he's sitting right. Right. <laughs> She walked by and gave her offering. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> at least he's sitting right. He's sitting right. Brother walked by and put his offering. <laughs> Go back to his seat and a man, a brother looking. Mm. You mean to tell me you're so messed up, so tricked up, you don't know how to sin? <laughs> Think of it. You don't even know how to sin. That's something. That's something. Amen. Who drank liquor and put the bottle up to their mouth with the cap still on it? That's right. And they're going to say they drunk. That's right. Who smoked a cigarette by trying to put the light part, the lit part, in their mouth. In their mouth. And they complain their tongue getting burnt. Amen. Yeah, that's something else. My Lord, my Lord. Ain't no woman gonna put a bra on backward. <laughs> and the cup part on her back. <laughs> and they gonna say, man, what the what's the problem with this? Right? <laughs> How much plainer can I make it, you fool? That's right. I'm going to make it so plain, the dumbest of the dumb got to understand. Amen. 
Acts, he's an old man now. Acts 14 and verse 15 and saying, Sirs, Sirs why do ye these things? That's my question. <laughs> why do ye these things? We also are men are of like men passions of like with you. Passion as you and preach, and preach unto, you unto you that ye should turn from that these you vanities. Turn from these vain things unto the living unto God. Unto the living God. Which made heaven and made earth heaven and the sea. And earth and the sea. And all and things that are therein. Uh -huh. Who in times past who suffered in all time nations. Past suffered all nations. Suffered all nations. To walk in their own ways. To walk in their own way. Nevertheless. He left not himself without witness. He ne listen, Amen. he didn't leave himself without witness. And that he did good. And that he did good. And gave us rain from heaven. Gave us rain from and heaven. And fruitful seasons. Fruitful seasons. Filling our hearts with food filling and gladness. Filling our hearts with what? With food and, and gladness. Food and gladness. And with these sayings, scarce restrained they the people. Do you hear that? Amen. God never left himself without a witness, brothers and sisters and never. viewers. God in every generation, That's right. God will send men. That's right. To preach the word of God to the people. That's right. And the people will be judged oh, yeah. according to the light of the knowledge of God that was displayed from heaven in that day. That's right. You're going to give an account to God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't want to say it was supposed no one didn't preach that same sex was wrong. You know, common sense will teach you that man ain't for a man. That's right. You don't even need a spirit to tell you that. No. You don't need to hear no voice from heaven. No. Man is made for the woman. You don't need no voice to tell you that. It was not even nature itself, teacher. You hear this in the book of 1 Corinthians? 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 14. Nature, nature, nature. common sense. Do it not even nature itself teach you. That's right. Do if not nature itself teach you? That if a man have long hair. Do your common sense work? Do you got common sense? Does it work? That if you have long hair. It is a shame unto him. Why it ain't a shame to you? Right. God wants you to keep your masculinity, mister. That's right. Men that are watching. That's right. Women that are dating men that go both ways. Amen. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Hear me, God. Amen. Hear yeah, me, God. Do it not even nature itself teach you? That if a man have long hair. Society wants you to be strange. Yeah. Want your hair long. I never saw a day where so many young men young want man. to be like girls. That's right. That's true. And these young girls want to be butch. That's right. That's right. <laughs> they want to walk like a man, talk like a man. You know, women today don't have a lot of femininity. No. Don't walk feminine, don't stand feminine, don't clap feminine, That's don't right. talk to you feminine, just talk. <laughs> Amen. You look at a man from the back and look at a woman from the back, you ought to be able to tell the difference. Tell the difference. You look at me from the back and look at my wife from the back. You know I'm not my wife. That's right. That's that right. That girl got a whole lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah is right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. When a man see a man from the back, you should be able to know whether that's a man or a woman. Or a woman. You people that are watching me all around the world, you may not like what I'm preaching from the Bible. And you know by now, Pastor Jennings don't care if nobody don't like it. No. This message that God gave me will never change. That's right. God only had one church. That's right. He was put to death in the flesh and quickened by the Spirit. Yeah. And gave Peter the gospel on the day of Pentecost when he stood up with the eleven. That's right. And Peter declared to repent in Acts 2, 38 and then, be baptized every one of them. Then Peter said unto them. Listen at this. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them. Said to them Repent. This is what all of you got to do. Repent. All of you that bow your head and raise your hands and claim, talk about you confess with your mouth for you save and join some churches and got sprinkled in some church. And man, you ain't never been saved since you've been in the world. That's right. You got to come right back to the word of God and get it just like he's reading it here. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Join the church. Repent. Pray a sinner's prayer. Repent. Hold a preacher's hand and repeat a sinner's prayer. Repent. 
confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you are saved. Repent. Bunch of liars. You got to repent. That's right. God wants you to be sorry for being a sinner. That's right. Cigarette suckers. I know many of you drove here today. You got the cigarettes in your pocketbook and some of them left in their car and got your bottle of liquor in your glove compartment. Some of you, when you go home, you got a bar in your house and you're going to drink and talk about the message tonight. That's right. You're going to drink your Jack Daniels while you hypocrite. Hypocrite. Yeah. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be back. Repent. Repent. God wants you to be sorry about being repent. a sinner. That's right. And be baptized. Every one of you. Everything in Baltimore and the world. In the name of Jesus in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. Get your sins removed. Move. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy when Ghost. you have the Holy Ghost, you have the Holy Spirit, or you're filled with God. That's it. That's the new birth. That's, That's when you're born again. Anybody here want to be right like the Bible says and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet tonight if you want it. Wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing. Glory to God. Who we got set to baptize? They're already back there? All of you that are standing, go to the back. Isn't this wonderful? Amen. Look at that. Look at all of that fish. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Those going out of both sides. Both sides. Hallelujah to God. <laughs> this is the Lord's doing. Yes, it is. That's what this is. Yes, it is. This is the Lord's doing. Yes, Amen. Amen. You brothers that are set to baptize, you go out and get yourself ready now. Amen. Get yourself ready to baptize all of these people. Right. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I tell you, this message yes. never falls in vain. No, it doesn't. Never falls in vain. Who we'll gave it the correct time, brothers? All right, it's 8.30. Good time tonight. Amen. We'll be back tomorrow. Yes, sir. Greetings, brother. All right, we'll talk to you after service. Yeah. All right, we'll be back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Prayer will begin at 11. You come on back now, hear the word of God. Don't go to your false church. You don't need to be there. Yes, sir. What's that? Yes, come on up. Let us all stand. Let's get this brother restored. Don't block the middle of the aisle, brother. Just go to the side so he don't be in the way. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, look down upon us, brother. You declared in the word of God to the apostles. That if brother be overtaken in the fall, you with your spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of weakness. We thank you for not cutting them off in his sins. Thank you for your mercy being shown. Eternal God, stand by him and be with him and forgive him of every transgression, blot out every iniquity, that he may contend earnestly for the faith and wants to live unto the saints. Bless him, keep him, preserve him, that he may have a desire to walk with the truth always and be kind of worthy to go back with you when you come for your church. Stand by him and be with him in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Under him that is able to keep you from falling, present you fall before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Let us all say amen. amen. All right, be back tomorrow. Thank God for you.